Hey Dragonflies, it's time for a story with Mr. Madsen. Today I'm reading Hey Little Ant by Philip and Hannah Hughes and illustrated by Debbie Tilly. Hey Little Ant Kid Hey Little Ant, down in the crack, can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well now it's gonna squish you flat. Ant. Please, oh please, do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, don't make me die. Kid. Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small, I don't think it'll hurt you at all. Ant. But you're a giant, and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close, I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Kid. Are you crazy? Me like you? I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Ant. Oh, big friend, you are so strong, so wrong. My nestmates need me cause I am strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. Kid. But my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Ant. Hey, I'm not a crook. Kid, read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town, so please don't make your shoe come down. Kid. But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me, they're listening too. They all say I should squish you. Ant. I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? Dragonflies, some questions to think about after this story. The boy had the power to squish the ant if he wanted to, while the ant can only beg him not to. Since the boy is more powerful than the ant, does that mean it's okay for him to squish the ant? If you have an older brother or sister and they are stronger than you, does that mean it would be okay for them to beat up on you? Can you think of anything that you have the power to do, but shouldn't? What keeps you from doing it? The boy's friends try to pressure him to squish the ant. Should the boy listen to his friends? Do you always do what other people tell you to? If enough people want you to do something, does that make it okay to do?